Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome. Whoops. Wait, wait, to another video. Right, the video today is on this 2012 Audi. This is the A5, I think it is. Uh, and indeed it is uh, the A5 with the 1.8 TSFI, I think, uh, engine. Um, so this car came to me. Um, I was told over the phone the EPC light is on. Uh, there is more than that. Um, uh, when I move the car from the front of the house to here, the car has been parked in there for the last three or four days when it was dropped and um, I just started up to take starts fine um, but when I go into the car obviously as always guys I'm never the first one touching these things uh, I always get the aftermath of someone else someone else's work let's start this thing and I will show you exactly what he's doing so that's the lights you have on. Start and stop system, a uh, system fold, uh, fold system, uh, function and available. I have the engine light on, I have the EPC light on. Uh, we have that, but that could be just a reset, I don't know. Um, and then you have some brake lights um, out of the rear. Uh, if I press the brake, there we go, they come up rear left and I think that's the only and right rear so they are both out that's a little bit odd both at the same time but it could have well been um what else to say I think that's it so looks like we might have a throttle body problem related who knows it's gonna plug in the maxi sys and see what the Maxi is tell us um, but uh, not before I actually open the bonnet and give a quick inspection around see how it looks etc etc okay so uh, how does he looks wow uh, okay bit of oil around here which is normally is where you top it up so it could be just uh, what it is okay it's gonna get this cover off okay so what did they replace with this thing? Okay, to start with, and I can definitely see, might not be nothing but this has been trapped in there. Between, oh, so you can't see, it's trapped between the Jubilee clip and this metal support. It's definitely trapped in there. Quite badly, actually. Jesus, how can someone not see this? Okay. Uh, then you have some loose looms here at the back. Jesus, every, everything is loose around here. Okay. Everything is loose. Nothing's on their own brackets. What else? Mm. Okay. <coughs> well, I think it for now everything else looks okay so let's gonna let's gonna give you a scan and see what we have okay and let's gonna see these <coughs> together see what's coming up with what's coming up with um the engine code on this is the 
C J E B. Uh, let's press in there. And we do have. I hope it's not a long list. I just said I hope it's not a long list. Right. My God. Ooh. Ooh. Right. So active codes at the moment we have engine coolant level sensor switch engine coolant bypass control idle rpm system rpms higher than expected intake air system leak map map throttle position correlation i think this is too many codes and then we have passive we have throttle position again we have a turbocharger sensor position a reduced oil pressure malfunction so why i have a feeling that all maybe all these codes are related to one issue um so it could be that there is something else something common that is causing all these problems so are all these uh, control systems sharing something or don't know so what the first thing i'm going to do now that i have this is we are going to clear all these codes okay there we go so we have one that is constant in there engine coolant level sensor switch circuit okay so now let's gonna cycle the ignition on this and let's gonna start this thing let me take the key out let's start this thing okay and my epc light comes back straight away engine light didn't but obviously comes up with the system with that fault and uh, now let me come out of this come out completely out of the ECU let's go back in now I haven't drove the car remember I only started the car if I need to go for a quick drive to see if something else comes up I will quickly go at the end of the road but look at that so actually the all this actually everything yeah everything look at this so we have one two three four five faults so i guess the engine fault will come back straight away or will come back soon uh, the engine light sorry so we do have these as well and uh, it looks like is sensor this is a control valve that's a sensor intake system air leak and correlations in there hmm that's gonna that's gonna let me think what I'm gonna do next okay and after I've been a little bit busy doing other stuff anyway after checking some diagrams uh, this is obviously just a quick uh, just a quick reference drawing uh, the, the the diagrams are a little bit more complicated than this but uh, we do have the diagram shows me that all these bits so intake camshaft sensor fuel pressure sensor camshaft sensor i know we don't have any faults for this but then map sensor actuator coolant level temperature control and turbo actuator end position sensor so these last three the five volts and the five volts ground or negative five ground five volts they are all shared across all these parts okay all these components share the same five volts the first one the um, uh, coolant level sensor that's in a completely different place internally i don't know if they share anything as well the diagrams shows me the voltage being shared after these two sensors so the five volts plus are shared on the intake from here and that shows from there but is this correct is it shared from there is it shared from here is it shared from here i don't know we this is what the diagram shows me but all i want to know is was to know if there was anything common to some of these components which we already established there is so now i'm going to go do some investigation on the wiring loom i want to start by checking that trapped loom uh, see if there's anything damaged in there um, and we'll go from there now is there's no magic 
there's no wonders to do it's just we need to go and start to dig into things and try to find out what's wrong okay and uh, as I was start to uh, investigate and look for something um, this is bad um, something has been done on it on this engine no every not every every single kind of clip that holds uh, looms in place right here at the back everything is off I've been trying to put a few back in but it, it looks like a lot of stuff has been touched um, <clears throat> so this um, I've checked it it didn't I don't think it trapped any wires inside it was a little bit tight but I think it didn't damage anything inside um, one thing that I've noticed is this sensor here at the bottom there's some tape here around you can't really see it but it's stretched a uh, hell and I think this is the level sensor for the coolant and so we're gonna have to look into this maybe take the bottle and see what what's going on here it looks like the wires are too short I'm not sure what happened in there um, and then I start to look for all the uh, valves uh, water and anything to do with coolant system and I came back to this valve here and I didn't like this look at this and when you take this off it's like that and obviously this valve is gone or at least it looks like it's gone uh, I'm not sure what this valve is but I think this is gonna be the switch over valve that he mentions in there for the coolant system I might be wrong but that looks like what it is now the pins in there are completely gone so I'm not gonna be able to do nothing with this valve um, it's gonna it's gonna need a replacement that's for sure uh, along with this plug which looks to me like it's been burning okay mm. okay so that's problem number one uh, will this be the cause of all my issues maybe uh, maybe not might just be one of the issues so we're gonna have to replace that plug to start with and get a replacement uh, valve in the meantime we're gonna carry on try to figure out what's wrong because I think that will might trigger the fault for the valve but not for the rest so and actually the switch over valve let me just to confirm I think it says a uh, open circuit which makes sense oh. a bypass valve open circuit so that's one issue uh, only I think that's gonna be one problem then we have all the other ones okay and this is the end of this for me yeah I'm not gonna touch this anymore so I've been here for a little bit uh, measuring stuff so I got out I actually had the ECU out to check that row of fuses underneath uh, been checking quite different things um, I don't think I mentioned it but I'm gonna mention it now uh, I don't know if you can see all that brownish stuff around. It's all spread around this area. So I don't know, um, or I do have a feeling that it looks like when you have a coolant system that just bursts or a bad air gasket that just leaks everywhere. It, that looks like coolant to me. Sort of has been, it's literally everywhere around this area. Um, but I've been doing a few checks, so as I said, it's you, I've been on there, I've got all that out to check underneath, to clean, actually I've cleaned a little bit of the drains because they were blocked full of leaves, so I got most of the leaves out and I was about to go and wash all of these before uh, I put everything back together, which I might still do. Um, but in the meantime, um, this car just showed me a way bigger problem than what I was looking for so uh, just another quick thing so that sensor in there I said the cable was stretched etc etc so this bit of tape at the bottom was because someone actually cut these wires and got a different loom so I have a feeling that maybe the sensor was leaking to the plug and destroyed the plug maybe uh, they were just wrapped through the wires I left everything the way it is the cable is not stretched anymore it was only stretched because it was going uh, uh, around the top of this plug so I had these all of these out and I got it around so now it's 
is you can't really see it but it's nice and slack so it's not stretched anymore um as i was saying um i found a way bigger problem with this engine and that to me financially it doesn't make any sense to carry on touching anything on this car um now i don't want to start the engine again i'm waiting really, literally for the guy to come and pick up the car so i just want to put everything back together um before the guy turns up to pick up the car um but yeah i found something with this engine that it makes it financially not worth to touch it at least for me to touch it uh, maybe the owner wants to do it. I don't know. Uh, I can't do nothing with this and uh, Let me get inside the car um, But yeah, I found a bigger problem with this and I actually made a clip when I was actually um, uh, Looking at the issue when I actually found the issue. I actually recorded a clip But I did the clip with my S10 so I will transfer it to this phone and I'm going to show you now uh, what it is and I'm not gonna tell you yet what it is uh, But I guess at the end of this 38 seconds uh, clip you will know what's wrong uh, With this engine so with no further ado, let's gonna watch it could all hear it I think there is no really much more I need to say that looks like a con rod is knocking uh, that to me looks like a con rod the way it sounds uh, the way it feels or the way it happens as you throttle as you press the accelerator and you feel the knocking coming up and then it goes away it really looks to me like it is like it's a con rod knocking <clears throat> so yeah that's that's not for me that's a engine rebuild or a engine replacement which either one of them is not for me to do here obviously uh, and indeed is a way bigger problem than the other problems we would try to tackle for the coolant and all that good stuff so um, at this point I rang the owner I explained to him uh, bit by bit everything that's going on I send him the clip uh, and uh, he completely agreed to leave it for now. He said, I'll pick up the car and I will see what am I going to do next. I will decide what to do. But either way, even if he decides to either replace the engine or just open the engine and, and try to get it fixed, either way, it's not going to be for me here. Obviously, I don't have the conditions for that, especially now because my garage... Let me just show you curiosity. Yeah, my garage is undergoing some work. You might not be able to see very good, but I got someone that gave me a old kitchen that was being replaced, which was old, but it's now in very bad shape, and I'm just using it as storage and etc. I might show you later on on a different video, but yeah, I've been doing that now, and I've been quite busy. But but either way, this this will never be a job that I would be undertaking here on my garage. So uh, yeah, it needs either an, an engine. Uh, a new engine or the engine rebuilt and therefore for me this is the end of this uh, so yeah with no further ado guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, <clears throat> I hope there's any information here maybe there is maybe there isn't I don't think there is a lot but I just thought still to share this with you guys uh, it might be interesting I don't know um, so yeah if you have any question guys you know how it works Put them below and like always thank you for watching okay and i'm pretty sure you guys could all hear what the problem is um i know it might not be a straight straight uh how to put it across it might not it might blah, 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 blah.